So as another way of, um, if you like, making the cab quieter, reducing the noise, um, is to put an extra door seal on. Now I did this with my T6 and it worked phenomenally well. So the van comes with one normal door seal, goes around everywhere, and an additional seal over the top, which is like a rain gutter, um, but there's nothing here or around the bottom as an additional seal. And that's my idea of the door seal. So that essentially we get a seal all the way around there, there, and then up there. So I bought some seal, got some isopropanol, and cleaning it all up, we'll see how it looks. So there we go, done our little seal. Um, see uh, see what you think um, it sounds like it seals a lot better um, so when you close the door it sounds better so I've gone from pretty much the top there so right around the edge up to the door edge there and across the top and then we'll sound we'll see what it sounds like when it closes I think that is a success uh, for around about six pounds. So uh, yeah, time to go around the other side and do the other door. So this video isn't sponsored by Silent Coat. I just wanted to show you um, what I bought and obviously what information you get with it so that you know whether um, or not it's the right product for you. Um, they do different products. Um, so obviously it tells you about camper van installation, doing it in a wheel well, doing it inside wheel arches, all that kind of stuff. Um, you also get a leaflet about the uh, sound absorber stuff, noise isolator, silent coat buffer as well as the deadening mat and it's the deadening mat that I've bought. Uh, that's the back of it and it is just um, peel off very very sticky and then the front of it is this kind of aluminium and you can tell whether you've done it right or not because you kind of do that as you're squidging it in and uh, you push down those little dimples so you can see whether you've forced enough pressure in as you've been applying it so like I say uh, certainly not sponsored um, other products are available this is what I used and I used it because Mevy said that he used it and his van is definitely much quieter than our van so now onto the other door same again strip it all down and get inside the seal that they've placed over the foam kind of cover they've placed in the door insert all the silent coat um, and then basically uh, reassemble the door. You can't put any insulation in obviously because of the uh, window mechanism. Uh, silent coat should do you know, more than enough though. Um, and then after that I'll uh, put the secondary door seals on um, which as we can see from the other side really seems to help with the, the seal of the door when it closes. So um, yeah, <sighs> um, obviously a little cap inside there comes off. Uh, this comes off the cover there's a screw there screw there um, a uh, hex head there 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 and there two hex heads inside there and then that cover needs to come off as well which is a bit of a pain because I've got these window things fitted so take that cover off and there's another hex head there um, like I say and then these oh, speaker grills just pop off easy enough let's get to it so just like before silent coat installed everywhere I possibly can like I say if you don't end up with hands looking like that and you've not been doing it properly um, form it to every contour inside and then stick it everywhere you can like I say just every single place in every way stick it to all the contours everywhere you possibly can. So I've sliced holes for access, make sure you miss the wires uh, and then all I'm going to do is um, seal that up again with um, gaffer tape. So uh, then clean the door up, um, clean the components of the door, clean the door card, uh, put it all back together 
uh, and then I'll start to install the uh, the door seal. Time to put the other door seals on now and then um, we're almost done with the cab then. There's one more thing. So put some more door seals on the sliding door all the way down there and the bottom and along there. So when the door shuts now everything seals. So nice seal. Hopefully that will cut down on road noise along with everything else I've done in the cab area and that. Make it nice and quiet or at least quieter than it was. So in today's little video uh, we're going to fit a uh, outdoor showery thing because obviously everyone's complaining that we don't have a shower in our van so we must be proper mingers because you know you can't get showers anywhere else anyway so yeah this bullfinch shower is um, the solution we've been looking for really um, outdoor shower and um, hot and cold and uses the water from your normal um, onboard tanks as well absolutely fantastic and uh, even comes with a little shower head with a trigger on as well so you can um, choose when the water comes out without messing around with anything else so um, yeah I've uh, got some extra plumbing bits because it's American so it's 15 mil to 12 mil for the John Guest fitting so that's all done which means I can then plug it into the um, pipes that were already on the shower that came to the inside of the van um, so I just need to fit this now you look at it, it's white and I'm not going to fit white on the outside of the van and I didn't want to actually drill a hole on the outside of the van to do that because it does mean that someone can come along and mess around with what's there and I, I don't like that um, so I'm going to fit it inside the van uh, and the opening to the toilet so you basically open the outside flap and you've got a bit of space inside so I'm going to fit it in there so we can use it from there have an outdoor shower whenever we want and um, and that's it yeah so if you do want one of these it's the bullfinch shower number 6088 uh, about 50 quid um, and then about 10 quid for all the different fittings so you can make it fit and um, yeah I'll show you how it works it's quite an easy system um, but I just need to uh, figure out how to mount it in the side of the van first so someone asked me the other day um, basically does it leak when you move it in and out and no it doesn't um, obviously um, the seal inside there is really good and um, the main thing about this and where I've positioned it um, like I say it's connected through the little uh, hot and cold water pipes that used to go to the shower quite close to there um, so I've just mounted that on a piece of wood I've taken the front flap off because I don't need that anymore and see if that there locks in place and basically all you do is insert it in there where those pieces go to the alignment like that so it fits in and then once you turn it that selects the uh, water um, temperature between really hot and then you know cold and just about all right um, and then obviously with the with the shower hose then um, you just um, yeah shower yourself and it's that easy once you finish um, basically uh, turn it to the off position pull it out and that's it done it, it really is that simple so the bullfin system is very easy obviously it is meant for outside kind of thing but um, I think it works really well here at least this way it's not being tampered with or anything like that uh, the shower head and cord attachment fits in the front and then the plastic surround is then your temperature control so the whole unit fixed in like that is just so easy to use and like I say with the trigger head on the top uh, it just means that you can have a shower and set the temperature and then just kind of like squirt yourself with water whenever you want to you know water yourself up or wash yourself down so absolutely fantastic and for the price certainly easy so that's the outdoor shower sorted out hot and cold outdoor shower with a mixer tap on there um, plugged into um, the pipes that used to be there for the other shower that was internal um, so that's all reconnected and um, all sorted out mm -hmm.